All right, so I think that I'm going to make a recording for uh, Mr. French King himself, the first king of Illyria, Western Illyria, or France, um, is where uh, for Kai. Now, I think Kai is very strong in this current patch. I do not think he's top five, but I do think he is close. Um, I think he fits pretty well into tournament settings. I think that he does well against lots of characters. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through um, each of these as I understand the matchups, and I will openly admit um, places where I am not knowledgeable enough to really comment, um, and just kind of some gut feelings, because some of them are not matchups I have studied that thoroughly. Um, so starting off, Happy Chaos. Um, I have had the, the pleasure of playing a few really strong Happy Chaoses. Um, I've played both Kid Viper and Deb's Happy Chaos. Now, Deb pretty much wrecked me, um, and that's to be expected. She's a much better player than me. Kid Viper also beat me, uh, but I do think that a lot of that is they had better decision-making than me, um, and so I, I do feel like the matchup is probably pretty even. Um, if it's anything, it actually might be slightly unfavored, Um but it's a little too early to tell, and I haven't played uh, very many ha developed Happy Chaoses that are closer to my skill level. Um, and so I don't really know where uh, where that is. So, But I will say that there are some things, you do get some unique punishes, you do have some uh, unique ways to pressure. He doesn't really have an answer for your strike throw, and you can really have some good sustained pressure against him. Um that a lot of characters would be grateful to have. You do have some pretty strong tools to fight back. Um, but, you know, his neutral is hard to deal with. You do have to kind of run forward and block a lot of it like Axel. Um, so it might be a uh, it might be a bit, bit hard like that matchup, but we'll get to that one later. Um, Angie is very cleanly a good matchup for Kai. I think Kai might be Angie's worst matchup. Um, just stuff like... Vapor Thrust catching all follow-ups to uh, Fujin, except the low mashed early, because it punishes the uh, whiffed, the, just the Fujin on block, it punishes um, the overhead Fujin, the, not the overhead Fujin, the plus advantage uh, projectile Fujin, all of that sort of stuff. Um, you can punish at almost every single range with 2k... Uh, Dire Eclair or Stun Dipper uh, for the the uh, low follow up of Fujin. Uh, neutral, your Fireball eats up Spin. Two H is great against Ko. Um, you out poke him. You out move him. You out you just out fight him. You out box him in neutral. You out box him in close range. Um, the matchup is really hard for Angie, and basically everything that a Kai player could ever want is true in this matchup. Um, this is a uh, a really gross matchup for Angie. Um, similarly, I think that Faust is probably closer to favored than it is to even. Um, mostly because uh, Kai has a lot of unique answers uh, to a lot of Faust strings. Uh, Faust does not get to um, make a lot of his things pseudo-safe by spacing the Whirlwind uh, follow-up. So, yeah, Stun Dipper will punish those regardless. Um, particularly if you have meter. Um, Faust items are better, but also, like, you have ways to contest him from just throwing out items without having to move in. Um, there are some annoying things that Faust has. You don't have a particularly good answer to his 2P. Uh, and his round start is really good. And um, the... Like, he can really critical mass with items, but you have a lot of unique answers. Fondue Arc just is good at clipping him for just wandering around in the air. Um, you can... Your 6P is really, really good. Stun Dipper is really, really good um, in neutral. 6H is good and disjointed at catching certain uh, certain space normals. Like, it, it's... It's real, and you just kind of like you can clip him with uh, falling jump slash. You can pick it up. Um, you kind of box him evenly in the air, and those are all matchups that typically are bad for Faust. You can reliably get in. You can reliably keep him out. You can do all of the, all the sort of stuff. But at the same time, he can critical mass. Um, he has some really 
uh, frustrating and heckling normals. Um, as low to the ground as possible, jump 2k, it's a really hard poke to deal with for Kai, um, because it does get around your, uh, your 6p, because uh, it hits low enough for that. But at the same time, you know, Fondue Arc often trades well with it. Uh, falling Jump Ass uh, falls with it. Uh, you know, the, you do have a lot of things uh, that are really good about it, but, you know, it is not, it's not as clean cut as Angie. Um, Soul, it's going to be really controversial. I'm going to put this matchup in even. Um, a lot of Kai players really hate the Soul matchup, but I think that neutral is pretty good for Kai. Um, you have a lot of unique punishes. You have a lot of ways to move around his different uh, options. The damage difference isn't as big as it used to be. Um, you know, you have a lot of... And it might just be that I'm really good at the Soul matchup, and so I'm kind of skewing it a bit. But um, the fact that Soul has some, has some like, punishes kind of sucks, and the fact he does a little bit more damage kind of sucks, but, like... He can't Gunflame in neutral because of 6H. He can't, uh, like, he did. now that his 6S has been kind of, has been nerfed, it's pretty easy to move around it, as well as whiff punish it, as well as 6P it, um, that you just kind of outrange him in neutral, and it's pretty rough for, it's it's actually can be kind of rough for Soul. Um, now, admittedly, he does a lot more damage. His mix of his strike throw is really, really good. Um, FD is your friend. Because uh, his strike throw is more affected by FD than Kai's. Um, but, you know, it's... It's probably... It, it, it's closer to unfavored than it is to favored, for sure, just from damage difference. Um, <clears throat> but it is pretty pretty even, to be honest. Um, probably favored. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth with Gold Lewis. Um, I'm going to put Gold Lewis firmly in the good um, category with Angie. Uh, it's definitely not as good a matchup as Angie, but you do have a lot of really strong tools against him. He cannot get over um, 2H, so preemptive 2H is really, really good at keeping him grounded. Um, once Gold Lewis is in the corner, there's not a whole lot he can do. You can challenge a lot of his special cancels into Behemoth Typhoon. Um, because 2k reaches at a lot of ranges, um, Gold Lewis doesn't have a particularly good way to, to deal with, um, Air Stun Edge, like, he has the, uh, Gatling gun, but the Gatling gun sucks, uh, and it's really slow, and he often gets clipped, and it just, you know, barely, it just, it's just not a good, uh, exchange. Um, the only way this matchup isn't Kai favorite is if Kai has to approach, which you don't, um... You can pretty reliably keep him away and do that. Now, it's a lot easier said than done, but if you play really clean and you play, you know, a little bit more, um, I'm going to call it Stank Boy style than Kizzy style um, and Churara style, if you play a little bit more lame, a little bit more zoning, a little more traditional Kai, um, the matchup can be pretty bad for, for Gold Lewis. Not, like, really bad, like, it's probably only 5.5, 4.5, but it's... Just because you know, Gold Lewis, Gold Lewis can kill you if he gets in. You're you're done. If you have to, if you do have to trade blows with him, he does definitely win that sort of exchange. There are some things that are um, fairly good, but you know, FD to get pushed out to make the uh, you can. Oh, there's just lots of little things you can do to kind of push it out further, and you can really lay him out. Um, Leo is probably is closer to unfavored than it is to even. Um, it's not that bad. Like, you can keep Leo out. Um, because you, you do kind of... You don't really outpoke him, but you do outmove him. Um, and so you can kind of do a little bit a little bit that way. But, you know, he's his fireball beats your fireball pretty clean. Like, his slash fireball, if he has charge, will win the fireball war. So you, you have to kind of move around his fireball and look to 6H it. And if you do that, then you're opening yourself up. And once Leo is in, it's really rough. But, you know, you've got a DP, and he doesn't have... Uh, once he's back turned, your DP is as good as any other DP, because he doesn't really have any ways to, to safe jump it or low profile it in the way that, like, most characters can low profile Kai's DP specifically. Um, you do have a lot of unique challenges, uh, so the matchup's not that bad, but the... If you ever get a life disadvantage, it's really, really hard to play against a lame Leo with Kai. 
Um, you don't have a lot of good tools to move in on him. Um, and if they're if they're good at playing that kind of zoning Leo game, which I know sounds like a bit of an oxymoron, but it's it can be really challenging. Now, I will be first to admit that I have not played any of the the strongest Leo players. Um, you know, I have some Leo exper- experiences, with Leos everywhere on the Celestial Four, but um, I don't know. I do play Leo, um, and I do find that uh, I do well against Kai as well. But I usually do well against Kai because I'm a Kai player playing other characters. Um, and I generally know the character web pretty well. Um, but, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, I think that, uh, this matchup might be even as well. Um, I'm not ruling that out, but I think it's more in the disfavored than favored. Um, all right. So Zato, I go back and forth. Like, I go from good to bad to even, a lot with this matchup. Um, I will say it is very easy to just let his uh, let Eddie drill. You don't have like you have better ways to kill Eddie than most characters. To be fair, um, but you also, you know, neutrals really tough. You're not one of the characters that just kind of body Zato, and so you really have to deal with him. Um, it's it's difficult to deal with his flight. It's difficult to deal with. Um, the drill summon for Eddie, uh, drill on summon, drill on summon, um, and all of that sort of stuff. It's really hard to deal with. Um, and if you ever happen to be foolish enough to uh, overextend and have to block, uh, you know, he's got a lot of really good ways to bait out um, your defensive options. Now, again, Kai has better defensive options than most characters, so the matchup is probably better than. A lot of characters do against him. You're not going to get super lamed out like Nago and Gold Lewis do. So the matchup's not like super Zato favored. Um, you do kind of pressure him pretty nicely. His he doesn't have um, he doesn't have a, a good reversal. He doesn't have he's got a five P that leads to damage, which you know that is a problem. But um, uh, and he gets he gets in on that, and that's always scary. And he kills you really fast, but. You know, neutral is slightly hard for Kai, but um, you do you do kill him if you get in. It's a pretty volatile matchup, um, and so it's probably even. Um, I have not played any of the super like I I've played some pretty strong uh, Zato players. I've played um, what was that guy's name? Uh, I played some sets with no Kami. I played some random level 3000 Zato that was really good that might have been someone on a Smurf account. Um, I played I played some pretty strong Zatos, and it can be really oppressive uh, if you ever have to block anything. But at the same time, like on paper, Kai has better options to deal with it. Most characters, um, your 2K is pretty good at clipping um, the uh, Drunkard Shade Lurch Ford. Your Fireball can stop him from frogging you out of the air. Your air fireball is really good at, at uh, doing that. So, like, a lot of the kind of vanilla Zato stuff doesn't work on Kai very well because, you know, you can you have an air fireball, and that's really good at dealing with um, uh, dealing with that. But at the same time, like, it's it's hard. Zato's scary. Um, he can kill you really fast. Um, I'm going to say I don't know for May. It's probably unfavored. Um she kind of does the same, like, as far as Kai against Mei, she kind of does the same thing that Kai does, but she gets a little more damage on it. Um, they have similar poking, they similar, they can kind of, they kind of both slug each other out, they both can kind of lame each other out. Um, but at the same time, you have to deal with a lot of stuff. I, I think that, uh, this matchup is, just on health difference, is probably closer to unfavored, but it's also probably pretty even, neutral's pretty even, the mix-up game's pretty even, you just kind of do a little bit less damage. Um... It's certainly harder than Soul, in that uh, in neutral you kind of have a lot of strengths going for you. But like you know, if you're looking to compare um, far slash to far slash mazes on par, two S to two S, you know, it, a lot of things are really uh, are really kind of slugged out. Now I have not I have not played against that many maze. Um, I'm not particularly a maze specialist, so it might just be that I'm not very good at the matchup. Um, but it feels like just one of those, you know, 
everything's about even except they do a little bit more damage um they get a little bit more on everything um giovanna i've gone back and forth between these two um i'm gonna say that the matchup is even rather than possibly favored um mostly just because like she is really fast she is really hard to keep out now uh she doesn't have great answers for your fireball all she's got is their air dash pretty much um but she has ways to kind of train you to not try an anti-air and because of her air super and things like that um her 2d spaced is really is uh really strong um her movement is really really good but at the same time you can kind of like throw down light normals and catch her uh kai gets pretty good conversion on his light normals if he catches a random thing your 6p is the best in the game um you know you kind of do about even damage like she has less health but does a little bit more damage um on a lot of hits um so it's kind of you know kind of works out as a wash um it's closer to favored than disfavored um but again i have not played any of the top uh giovanna players to really know the fear of that character a lot of the geo players do kind of stock standard stuff um and you know you just kind of fd the close last and the 2s whiffs and then you uh you take it home to the bank you know like she kind of she she's the character who got hit the hardest by fd um so this was a matchup that was unfavored and now is even or even favored and the fireball is really she doesn't have a good answer for fireball her uh, Spiral Arrow and Air Dash are not good enough. Um, she can't contest. She doesn't have a good disjoint for it. Well, she does, but like her disjoint is just not... She slides too far forward at a lot of ranges that your fireball can... Ground Fireball can really heckle her. Um, uh, Potemkin, I'm going to say, is maybe favored. It's a matchup that like is extremely favored until he has 50 meter. Um... You can you have a lot of really good things. You have better answers to Mega Fist and defense his defensive options than almost every character. Um both with Fondue Arc and Jump Dust and uh two and your uh, close slash two H catching it. Um you have a lot of really good pressure options against Potemkin, but like he's got a lot of health and he does just kill you and he's got a lot of really strong gimmicks. Like if he ever uh hits you with a normal then PRC close slash a Garuda and you're dealing with it right like it is scary and he's very good and you do not outrange and outmove him so well that that's not an issue um now I'm gonna say that it's more towards favored because the onus is on Potemkin to get in um and if the Potemkin doesn't have meter or spins his meter unwisely or you happen to defend the meter um the matchup is pretty favored for Kai neutral was pretty good um your pressure is pretty good against him you have better answers um uh then a lot of the time kai's dp oddly enough uh will actually not clash with garuda uh at a lot of ranges where most dps do clash with garuda because it uh because your vapor thrust goes over garuda's hitbox so it doesn't clash so it actually beats it clean sometimes when other characters don't so it's actually blessed rather than cursed uh to have the uh significantly worse uh dp um and he doesn't have like he's got safe jumps obviously but he doesn't have any like grounded safe meaties so a lot of things you can you can kind of you know you, you've got some stuff it's pretty good but like boy is that character really scary um uh, the best potential i played as if a number of times is the uh, is jan um the texas potemkin uh, i have played him a number of times and that's probably my main experience in the matchup it's really scary um it's really scary um ramlethal if i go by gut feeling this matchup sucks um but if i'm being honest this matchup is possibly unfavored or possibly even um i'm gonna say that it's maybe unfavored um just because there, like, there are a lot of things on paper that genuinely do make her pressure weaker, and she doesn't have, like, she's a little bit like Leo in that she doesn't like, she doesn't have ways to kind of force her pressure better um, than her kind of stock and standard pressure. Um, you have some unique answers, uh, but she outranges you. Um, her her grounded a uh, her grounded s 
making Dire Eclair uh, a lot worse and also punishing Fireball at close ranges. And, you know, she's got some pretty obnoxious things to deal with. At the same time, Meaty 5k technically can be safe to her super, uh, which is really nice. Uh, although, uh, I probably get hit for trying more than I should, because uh, it is, uh, I think it is a two-frame window to get it safe on her. Because I think her, her, her super is a nine-frame reversal, and it's safe to eight frames, so you can get the first or the second frame timing uh, to make the 5k safe. But uh, you do kind of have to play 6p. You do a lot of beat them consistently and not get very much. Like, the way that you play against uh, Ramlethal is, you know, you get a 6p here, you get a random clip there, you hit them with a fireball here, you do that there, and you kind of chip them down. Um, but if she hits you, like, if you're stupid enough to get hit by her best poke, her far slash or something like that, uh, you can just explode. Um, so it's a really frustrating matchup, uh, although, like, in neutral, you do have a lot of really strong options, uh, she does have to stay new grounded against Kai because of his, uh, his air-to-air -air game, and his anti-air game is really good against Ramlethal, um, you know, best 6P in the game, you know, it does help, uh, and that does kind of limit her neutral to a, to a one-trick pony, um, but at the same time, that one trick is... It's really good. It's a bit like fighting uh, Street Fighter Four Bison, where it's like, man, that roundhouse is good. Man, that medium kick is good. <laughs> you know, not a lot more than that, but man, is it good. Um, it's a, one of those things. It's one of those kind of matchups, um, wherein really strong Kai players can lose to kind of kind of weak Ram with all players. Um, but at the same time, it's a matchup that like, yeah, there's there's a lot of counterplay. There's a lot of things to it. It's not that bad. Um, Milia. I'm going to say this matchup is favored um, rather than, uh, I don't know. It's either here or here. Um, I'm going to say that it's favored um, on basically on grounds that M Milia sucks. Uh, Milia is my main secondary, and uh, this matchup is kind of butt cheeks for her. Uh, you have the best 6P in the game. You're one of the only characters that can reliably keep her out. Uh, Axel cannot keep her out. Uh, Jocko can't keep her out, uh, Happy Chaos can't keep her out, uh, but good old Kai, um, Kai can because he's got, you know, his Jump K and his 6P and his 2H and his 2K and all these really good, that are just happen to be really good against Milia specifically, like, your 2K is basically as far as her, as her 2S, um, her setups, you have better answers than most characters. Um, your DP actually does uh, catch things that other DPs don't because it has such a wide um, arc. Um, now, she also can 2k under it, but that's not that big a deal. Because a lot of millions will try and do that, and you can RTL, and it's, you know, uh -huh, taking over the bank. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of things. I think, I think Millie is... I think that just kind of the way neutral plays out, I think that it's just hard to call it not pretty favored for Kai. Um, you kill her really fast. She doesn't kill you very fast. Um, you can take a lot of risks and, you know, spend a lot of things to just DPRC or or just kind of challenge out. And the worst case scenario is you're back in a mix-up and took like 60 damage or 100 damage or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You know, you can just kind of bet the farm over and over and it's fine. Um, now... If the Milia plays really clean, yeah, it's definitely here. But you're just, you're too good at oopsing her, you're too good at catching her, you know. She's a lightweight, so you get extra combo extensions, you know. It's, it's, it's good for Kai. Um, similarly, Jocko, uh, she can't set up her minions. Um, your fireballs are too good. Um, air fireball, ground fireball, you're too good at killing your minions. Uh, and her defense is not good enough, so, yeah, Kai... Kai pretty cleanly wins the matchup. I, I don't I haven't played a lot of really good Jocko. She's got some really nasty setups. I haven't played against many of them. Uh, but just the way that neutral plays, Kai's got more to deal with than almost any character. So it might be better than this, but a lot of Kai's are also kind of on the yes, it's favored um, bandwagon with Jocko. Um, Nago Ryuki. Uh, Nago used to be here. Um, because Nago still couldn't really get around Ground Fireball before, 
And now Ground Fireball is better, so you'd think this matchup would get pushed further. Uh, but Nago actually got way more tools to dealing with Kai uh, than you'd expect. So this matchup is either slightly unfavored or even. I'm going to put it in even. Um, mostly because uh, Nago still has some problems, like Shock State can't punish Sun Dipper, so you can kind of YOLO it out there. You have uh, you can call it his 2H with Air Fireball. Um, and you can really mess with that, that really slow button. You have really good reliable punishes for it. You have really good reliable answers for it. But he's got a lot of health, and he kills you. Um, and he's got more ability to oops than any other big body. Um, like, his 5P will kill you. You know, he can do two-thirds of your life on 5P. Um, and that's rough. He's got a seven-frame reversal, so some of your safe jumps don't work against it. Um, his... Uh, his clone is really, really good in this matchup. Uh, Spin isn't particularly good against Kai because Fireball and Sun Dipper, uh, the both of your kind of uh, your kind of just playmaker moves, um, will trade favorably against it. Now, admittedly, if you hit them with Fireball or they hit you with Spin, the Spin is going to kill you. So it's not necessarily that good, but. Um, Pound for pound, uh, neutral is pretty pretty favored. You kind of can lame him out when he has two bars, uh, two blood bars, and he can't really clone through stuff. And when he doesn't have two uh, clone things, um, he has to, like, his spin guessing game because of your two-piece recovery is not caught by his Fukio back uh, far slash. Um, so he has to be a little bit more accurate. Um, your pressure is really good against him. Um, his strike he doesn't have really good answers for strike throw. Um, his back dash has a little bit more is like easier to clip in the corner. He doesn't have good tools out to get out of the corner, um, which is your main win condition. Um, you don't want to break the wall against Nago. Uh, by the way, you want to keep him in the corner, even if it means stopping combos way early. Um, you just kind of want to put him in the corner and keep him there. Um, and the matchup is probably even. Um, he kills you if he ever touches you. It's really hard, but it's probably even. Um, uh, Chip, I hate this matchup, uh, but it's probably even. Um, no one plays clean. Everyone's a scramble fest, but you do kill him, and you do have the best 6P in the game. Uh, so it is, you know, it, it is one of those things that you have really good challenges for it, You're, you know, but... It's scrambly, it's hard, it's chaotic. I'm not very good at it, um, but it's probably even. Um, Axel, definitively bad. Um, this matchup, you, you are slow. Um, you're not slow like the slow characters are slow, but you are slow. Uh, Kai's run speed is, is kind of sluggish. Your air dash is kind of bad. Your jump forward is not the most far thing. Um, he has really good answers to all of your counter zoning. Um, you know, it, it's... Admittedly, if you get in, the matchup goes to here. Like, Axel's defense is one of the weakest in the game. You can save pressure uh, his super with 5k. Um, but it's hard. It's hard. Um, there's a reason Kizzy counterpicks this matchup now. Kizzy counterpicks matchups that are, um, good for Kai or even for Kai, um, just because that's, like, he's learning stuff. But this matchup is, it's proper rough. Um, now you can 6P his jump back, uh, S really well, but he can really mess with it and clip you for it. And Axles are the best players in the world at messing with your anti-airs. Um, and he doesn't have to jump S. Uh, and he can also use jump S in ways that you can't 6P it and still be really good. And it's it's hard to deal with Rinson. It's hard to deal with uh, his... just all. It's just hard to deal with him. It's just hard to deal with him. And there's not a lot. Like, neutral's bad. Um, yes, if you get pressure, it's really good, but you just don't get it very often. Um, you, don't, you can't really bully and force your way in. Um, admittedly... Uh, the Chirarara style of just kind of saying fuck it and taking a guess is really good against, um, like, it's, it does work. And if you play that way, like, Chirarara is pretty well against Sizzy. Um, so it might be here. But 
if you play Kai the way that I do, where it's a much heavier kind of zone or strong neutrals type of character, um, this is uh, definitively a hard matchup. Um, and I don't think that many Kai players will contest that. Um, now, Eno... I go back and forth between it being possibly unfavored and it being even. I'm going to say that it's even um, because of 6H clipping um, the short hop and um, the short hop and uh, stroke. That's a that's a thing that most characters do not have, and uh, Kai does have it. Now, I will also admit that I counterpick this matchup because this matchup is unstable and I, ha I can play Soul. And Soul is Eno's worst matchup. So I, I will openly say that in tournament, I, I counterpick this matchup. Uh, not because the matchup is that bad for Kai, but because um, it, uh, I happen to play the character that does much better. Um, it's frustrating. She's got a billion things to... Uh, like, she's really scary, she can move around, you can't keep her out indefinitely, and her wind condition's really strong. Unlike Milia, where I do feel that you actually can keep her out until she's dead, um, the number of rounds where that happens with Eno against a good Eno is really rare. She's really good at taking guesses and getting in and having things that move around stuff. Um, between, like, she can neutral jump and dive to get around Fireball. Um, admittedly, and you have to Fireball in the matchup because... It's a, a strong, disjointed move to to bully her in the ranges that she that you traditionally want to bully her, which is right outside of far slash range, and right outside of the range where she can slash stroke it. Um, it's uh, it's a matchup that like she's got low health. You do out dam you genuinely do out damage her. Um, but her mix-up is really good. Everything's a safe jump. You do have the option to DP RC pretty much everything. She has to specifically bait the DP to not let you get out of pressure, which is, I think, the reason this matchup ultimately is even rather than disfavored. Um, you do have some unique challenges for it. And if they are hard baiting the DP, that means that RTL will work. Um, RTL catches the back dash. It catches the, 2D, the 2K. Um, so that is a, a nice thing that Kai has in the matchup. So it's not, it's not that bad, but you genuinely cannot keep her out forever. And her win condition is really scary and her mix is fatal. Like it, it's really, really dangerous. Um, so it's probably even, um, admittedly it's a matchup that I suck at. Um, if it's me playing it, I would say that it's probably here, uh, but I'm not very good at it. Um, but I also... And much better at playing Soul versus Eno. So, I just don't... I don't play it in tournament. I just play it on the Celestial Floor when I hit strong Eno players and complain about it. Uh, but on paper, I think the way that the interactions would work and the way that it would be if you played well, the matchup's probably even. Um, so, yeah. That's my... That's my thoughts on Kai's uh, matchup tier list currently. Um, all of this is subject to change, but I think this is... I think I'm pretty okay with this. Um, I know that a lot of uh, Kai players are going to be like, oh man, Soul's really good, blah, 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 blah. Or, oh man, I can't keep milling out, he mixes me to death. Um, or whatever, but... You know, and Giovanna or whatever, like all this, this traditionally bad matchup for Kai. Um, you know, those fast characters against uh, the zoner. The fact that all three of them are even or better is... Uh, a testament just how strong Kai is right now. Uh, Kai is the only character in the game who can keep Millie out, and that is uh, that is saying something. Um, so yeah, that's where that's where I am right now. Uh, I don't. I think I will upload this. Um, all of this stuff have changed. Like honestly, a week from now, I might have different opinions um, on where this all is. But uh, yeah, I think that. Uh, I think this is where I'm standing right now with all this stuff.